Hi everyone, it's Ange from Luna Creates. I wanted to hop on here and share a couple of mini albums that I've been working on. Now these mini albums were inspired by Project 39. She showed, um, she had a walkthrough of a mini album that she did like camp theme. And uh, she also has a tutorial on how to make one. So I followed her tutorial. Thank you very much for the inspiration and for the tutorial. And I liked it so much that I made two of them. So I now will link her channel down below, like the, the link for the tutorial, if you guys would like to make one. Seriously, it was super easy and fun to make. And yeah, I, I really did have a lot of fun. So when I first made the two bases, I was, since she made like a camping theme one, I wanted to make one similar to it. And I was going to do a Christmas one, but I've been making so many Christmas mini albums lately and I dug out my Halloween stash. So I did a Halloween one here with the doodle bug collection from last year. So I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of these two cute mini albums. First, I'm going to do the camping one here. Um, this one here, I used papers from an older paper pad from Michael's. It's from 2021 and it's called Summer Road Trip. I really like this one because it had camping theme, you know, go on a road trip somewhere. And as you can see, I have a few off cuts there and a few other pa not a lot left, but there's enough in here to do another project, that's for sure. So this is the paper pad that I used. So this has a two inch spine and it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine inches in height and one, two, three, four, five inches in width. And this is the cover. The stickers I used were stickers from another collection and um, it was just in my stash. So I just added some stickers here. That's the spine and this is the back cover. This one I added a ribbon, in, a ribbon closure. And this is uh, a lay flat album. So she shows you how to make that. And I love lay flat albums. They're just easier to work with. So here we have a tuck spot and we also have a tag here in a pocket that you could do some journaling or add photos. And then here you could add some journaling Oh, there's five signatures in here and there's a tag in each of the pockets. I was working on these at the cottage, so they kind of got banged up coming back. So there we go. This flip, this was an afterthought. I should have put down this flap first, then added the paper, but I added the paper, designer paper first, and then I added this, but that's okay. It's all good. This flips open like this, and then there's a pocket here, and they're all pretty much similar. This flips, you could add a photo, like lots of room to add photos and journaling. Hit the gravel, let's travel. So fun. Another pocket here. I really wanted to use up that paper pad. And I almost there, so that was good. There was some scenic papers and I just try to cut them to make it look like a whole spread there. This, it was just on the bottom and I thought I really liked it. So I thought, you know what, I'll just add it like that, which I was okay with. And then this is the back uh, cover and it has a tuck spot here and another tag here. So again, it was fun to make a nice, simple project. And it used up quite a bit of paper, which I was quite pleased with, because that's what my goal is, trying to use some of these papers. Ugh. I didn't really do a lot of summer projects, so I was happy that I was able to do this one. Because it feels like by the time 
like I want to do summer projects during the summer but then you see Halloween and fall stuff and you're like oh then you get the itch of doing that right anyhow here is the cover of this cute Halloween one my daughter actually gave me the inspiration for this she said why don't you try to make it like a Polaroid so I did and I added some stickers super cute eh here is the spine and then that is the back cover and very pretty much the same as the camping one this is a lay flat method and uh, I added some tuck spots in here well this wasn't last year's collection this was a different collection I can't remember what though sorry for misinforming but I used some pieces from last year's collection and some of the stickers super cute eh? the pumpkins and then there's a pocket here like can't go wrong with doodlebug i'm so tempted to buy their collection this year but i'm trying to be good trying this one i didn't add a flap i just added the cut aparts there because look how cute pocket here another pocket here i added this little guy here like even the bats are so cute and the froggy oh my god cut apart in here some of the papers were a bit too short so i just added strips i just try to use pieces that i have right then this one is a flap another pocket here And then we're at the back cover here and there's a little tuck spot here and another tuck spot here with a couple of other journaling cards and the same thing it has um, five signatures and there's uh, tags in each of them so some of them are just a little snug but lots of room for journaling and uh, adding more photos so yeah that's my quick walkthrough for you guys for today. I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed this video. Again, I will link uh, Project 39's uh, tutorial down below. Again, thank you very much, Project 39, for the inspiration. And that's it. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye for now.